Hey guys, this is Mike from BTEC Reviews here, and today we take a look at the fingerprint sensor on the Motorola G Stylus 2024. Hey guys, thanks for checking out today's video. This video is brought to you today by our partner, Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile is a premium wireless service that has plans as low as $15 a month. And with the price being that low, I was able to save a lot of money monthly in which I was able to enjoy going out to the movies more and watching certain movies with certain superheroes from this guy. You can get high speed data and unlimited talk and text on the nation's largest 5G network. You can even bring your own phone along with your current phone number and existing contacts without sacrificing anything. Switching over is easy whether you order a SIM kit from Mint Mobile or if your phone has an eSIM. If you're interested in trying out Mint Mobile and saving a lot of money, check out the links in the video description and thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the Motorola G Stylus 2024. And again, this device has an in-screen fingerprint sensor. So last year's version actually had the fingerprint sensor on the uh, fingerprint button, which I didn't have an issue right with. Uh, most of the time, a majority of the time, I never really have issues with the uh, fingerprint sensor being on the power button. Uh, so today, again, uh, you know, we are taking a look at the Motorola Stylus 2024, and I just wanted to show you guys how fast this thing works. So let's go ahead and and kind of show you guys the the data the, the data there that it, it looks like. And again, this is just merely like you know my experience, right? So for the most part. It's actually pretty fast. Like I would say it's almost as fast as the Motorola ThinkPhone. If you're not familiar with the Motorola ThinkPhone, uh, check out my uh, video on that one, guys. <clears throat> but for the most part, these fingerprint sensors definitely are getting a little bit better. I mean, again, that one, it was it was having a little issues with my right finger there. But as, like, like I said, as soon as you do it, it, it does it. Uh, this phone also does offer uh, face unlock. I do have it disabled currently for the video because my, in my last video, if you guys watched uh, where I did something like this, <clears throat> it uh, was constantly auto unlocking uh, with the face unlock, which in this with this specific device, the auto unlock on this device works fairly well. So I don't have an issue with that. I think it works very good considering it does have this like lift to raise uh, thing going on with it as well. Uh, so just a heads up on that, guys. Excuse the glare, by the way. I do have a few uh, lights here in the background uh, so we can get that going. But again, guys, for the most part, you know, again, you can see here that this fingerprint sensor really doesn't take that long to unlock the phone. And it's a very, it's a very snappy phone, as you can see here. So let me go ahead and do that again for you. So it's very quick. You know, again, there's really minimal uh, wait time for it to once you, once you hit it, it, unlocks so I can tell you guys one thing that I'm pretty impressed uh, by the phone so far as far as that goes you know it definitely uh, does have a lot of good little features about it right uh, I'm looking forward to testing out the camera on it and continuing to work with the device but for the most part again guys you know I really wanted to come uh, you know use that and I guess I can you know use a comparison over here I do have the uh, pixel 7 pro sitting over here I do have both devices let me see let me get this one unlocked really quick since I don't have that one um, since I don't have that one uh, unlocked I haven't really touched that phone in about a day sorry I had some messages going on here but for the most part you know we can do some video comparisons here just to kind of just to kind of uh, you know compare both phones here here you go sorry about that guys so again I'm gonna show you guys the pixel 7 pro right this phone's already a couple years old and then this device <clears throat> so again pretty quick like literally milliseconds quick guys it really doesn't take that long uh to again you know try that out here we go there's another one here let's let's do this phone for you again super quick and i'm actually uh recording on a device that has a fingerprint sensor as well uh but again it's gonna be you know take it with a grain of salt guys that <clears throat> these devices are going to differ uh, per person, right? It's not always going to be the same uh, for everybody when it comes to, you know, the usability or how good the phone is, etc. like that. But for the most part, like I said, guys, this, this fingerprint sensor works really good. <clears throat> Excuse me uh, for the coughing, by the way. I'm still kind of getting over COVID. But 
for for the most part, guys, you know, again, I, I'm enjoying this device. I've been using it for a couple of days now. Uh, I have. I'm sorry, I haven't put out as many videos as I've wanted to, just because, uh, you know, again, there's been stuff going on that I can't really talk about here. But you know, again, I do want to thank the uh, partner uh, that you know we are linking up today with, which is uh, Mint Mobile. Again, I definitely want to give Mint Mobile a shout out uh, for you know helping partner with this video so that we can you know, save the customer's uh, discount. And again, any uh, affiliate links I will put in the description below. And I think I will add a pin comment also for you guys so that you can check that out. So again, I really appreciate anyone that, you know, uh, uses the link and signs up uh, for future videos or et cetera like that. It will help out the channel. So I just want you guys to know that. And again, guys, just let's, let's take a look a few more times here. Uh, again, I'll use my left fingerprint here just so you guys can continue to, to see how quick this works and I you know again I really let me see if I can take a quick screenshot sorry it's feel like it's unfocusing here but it's working good guys I mean I'm not complaining at all I can't complain like 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 I said I don't think I did I have did I register a like a middle or an index finger no I didn't register an index finger so you can tell right away also that if you know, if, if, if it's not recognizing a fingerprint sensor after a few, uh, after a few taps, it will ask you to, you know, enter your actual pin code because again, that's basically telling the phone, Hey, this isn't the person that's trying to get into the device. And again, if you do it so many times, it's going to, it's going to lock you out guys. So let's go ahead and get back in there. It's going to lock you out. But again, guys, for the most part, again, I really appreciate y'all checking out the video. It's a short video guys. So again, you know, again, Wanted to put a video out about the phone and, you know, so far so good on the device. I really, again, am, you know, using the device as best as I can here. And I will put out more videos on the Motorola G Stylus for you guys. Again, just be patient with me uh, as, you know, again, uh, there, you know, I have some family stuff going on. But again, uh, thanks again for watching the video. Smash the like button if you guys like the video and check out the brand a partner that we are working with uh, today, which is Mint Mobile, and the link in the description below. If you guys like the video, smash the like button, please subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.